Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Iraj. Uh, I would like to uh, present my work about construction digital twin framework for a uh, general contractor. Uh, uh, the objective of uh, this study is uh, proposing a construction digital twin to uh, implement digital twin uh, throughout the construction phase of the projects for uh, uh, general contractors. But before that, I would like to uh, give a brief uh, concept about Industry 4. As you know, Industry 4 is the uh, fourth wave of uh, industrial revolution and it, that uh, offers ample benefits for different industries. Uh, it's a collect collective terms for a number of building blocks, such as uh, blockchain, uh, cyber physical systems, big data, cloud computing, etc. And uh, cyber physical systems as the core of Industry 4 uh, intend to link the physical world to digital worlds. Uh, but cyber physical systems require digital twins for their developments. And in simple words, digital twins are real-time digital replica uh, of the physical as physical products or processes uh, that capture all the useful information throughout uh, their life cycle. Uh, digital twin offers uh, several benefits, such as uh, more controlled project delivery process, reducing interoperability costs, reducing the long-term costs of the physical entity. Uh, more facilitated collaboration between the stakeholders and enabling simulation, optimization, and uh, many other benefits. Uh, BEAMS, uh, since its emergence, has uh, enhanced the collaboration and information exchange between the uh, stakeholders in different stages of the uh, project, but it has some limitations regarding uh, uh, leveraging big data, IoT, and artificial intelligence, and it also cannot evaluate, analyze, and predict the real uh, time status of a product or a process. But on the other hand, uh, digital twins are able to integrate the physical and uh, virtual worlds via real-time data from IoT and other devices, and also they enable artificial intelligence and data analytics. In addition, the bidirectional communication capability of digital twins enable uh, data and information flow from the physical entity to the virtual and vice uh, versa. Uh, so. Uh, because of many uh, benefits that digital twin offers to other industry, uh, the construction industry encouraged was encouraged to adopt digital twin, and many researchers have worked on uh, digital implementing digital twin in the construction industry, such as project management, facility management, and safety management. But uh, one of the main gaps of uh, the most of construction studies in terms of in implementing digital twin is that uh, most of these studies have focused on the operation and maintenance phases of the facilities. And using digital twin during the construction phases of the projects uh, is not sufficiently addressed. So uh, due to these limitations, this study is motivated to uh, develop a comprehensive framework in order to implement digital twin uh, during the construction phase uh, for to be used by uh, general contractor. And as you see in this framework, uh, it has several uh, tires, and each tire has its own tools and uh, enabling technologies, which I will explain in the case study. And it's worth uh, mentioning that this framework enables a closed uh, loop control system, uh, which embeds the plan, do, check, and act uh, cycle. The case study that was implemented in, uh, through uh, via this framework was a soil management application 
uh, as you know, uh, earthwork operations are very common in the uh, construction sites. And also because uh, this was a real uh, project problem in uh, my previous project. Uh, so I uh, decided to implement uh, this via the proposed digital twin. Uh, in this framework, the first step in developing a digital twin, a construction digital twin, is to identify the uh, physical entity that uh, you desire to uh, repl replicate it, and also and then developing its uh, respective virtual or digital model. Uh, uh, this is this case study was in, uh, was uh, a hospital project in uh, Milan, and as you see in the figures, the uh, physical entities were the excavation site and the uh, soil stockpile uh, that was produced due to uh, excavation and earthwork uh, operations. In the next tier of this framework, data acquisition tier, uh, uh, real-time data from the desired uh, physical entities uh, are acquired through can be can be acquired through uh, different enabling technologies such as volume sensors, laser range finders, and even even images. And uh, in the next tier, in the data transmit transmission tier. Uh, the acquired data uh, is transmitted uh, through enabling technologies like 4G and 5G. In addition, for sharing and uh, storing data, for sharing models and storing data, uh, data lake and CDs can be uh, used. Uh, in the next tier, physical to virtual twinning, the acquired data uh, will be integrated with the digital models and the digital models will be updated in real time. So as you see in these figures, uh, the construction site, the digital model of the, the excavation site is updated as well as the soil stockpile. So the site managers or top managers can uh, uh, have a real time uh, digital model of the physical entities. In addition, a Dynamo module and a add-on, Revit add-on was developed in order to calculate the soil volume so the uh, relevant stakeholders can uh, see the soil volume in, in real time. And also in many cases, uh, there are uh, there is possibility to that the uh, excavated soil must be uh, transferred outside the project location. So it is needed to integrate the BIM models with the socio-technical uh, platforms such as uh, ArcGIS and InfraWorks in order to also uh, do some optimization regarding the uh, selecting the optimum routes. Uh, in the next tier, in analytics and prediction tier, uh, we are using data analytics simulation and data processing, AI and machine learning. We are able to uh, do optimization, simulation, and var and uh, uh, other uh, techniques like uh, data analytics. In this uh, soil management case study, we used uh, discrete event simulation. Uh, so as you see, and uh, Arana simulation software uh, was used in order to uh, develop the simulation model. And this model was uh, uh, integrated with BIM models and GIS models and had uh, several uh, events and uh, activities. Uh, I will not go into details about different aspects of the uh, simulation model, and I will jump into the final results. The objective was that uh, in this project, we had four months to uh, finish and complete the uh, earthwork operations. So uh, the idea was to um, uh, select the proper number of machineries like loaders and trucks 
in order to finish the job within the uh, project schedule. So different strategies were developed. In the first strategy, uh, we considered three loaders and 18 trucks. And as uh, the results of the simulation showed us, uh, with this number of machineries, it was possible to finish the job in 150 days. So uh, it was not satisfactory. Therefore, we developed another strategy with four excavators and 23 trucks. Uh, the results showed that it would be possible to finish the job in 115 days. So uh, we can consider that it's, it was a uh, proper strategy. We also develop other strategies uh, as you see in the figure. Uh, in the next tire, service tire provides several benefits and services. For example, in this uh, soil management application of construction digital twin, we are able to monitor the site progress and also manage the logistics, logistics and material supply in terms of soil and also uh, manage resource allocation, and it is also possible to manage claims uh, regarding different aspects uh, in the construction site. And finally, in virtual to physical twinning tire, uh, proper decisions can be made or actuating mechanism mechanisms can be activated. For example, in this case study, an uh, excavator digital twin can be used for operation, control, and, uh, in, and monitoring. So uh, what are the impacts of using construction digital twin in the construction field? Uh, with the construction digital twin, AI-assisted construction management would be possible. Uh, it also helps in filling the information gaps that uh, exist during the construction phase. Uh, in addition, the general contractor can use the uh, construction digital twin in its future uh, projects and data-driven construction management and real-time capturing of the construction status would be possible via using uh, construction digital twin. And also the general contractor and the designer can have uh, a better collaboration and information exchange and also transparency and data reliability would be possible uh, via implementing digital twin during the construction phase. And it, as you saw in this soil management uh, application, uh, improved construction logistics would be possible through using uh, a construction digital tool. However, uh, based on the uh, challenges that we faced uh, through implementing this case study, uh, there are some challenges regarding implementing digital twin, like uh, finding a proper technology uh, for data acquisition. And also, uh, since we are using various platforms in a digital twin, the cost and interoperability might be a problem. Uh, so in this sense, uh, future directions can be proposed in various areas, such as quantifying the return on investment, uh, creation and validation of the virtual models, organizational structure, sharing and uh, security in terms of implementing CDT, uh, implementation standards of digital twins during the construction, and also uh, the level of fidelity required for developing a truthful construction digital thing. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, attention. If there is any question, I would happy to, happy to answer your questions. Thank you.